Alright, so a Bluetooth CSR 4.0 dongle. Uh, there's actually probably hundreds of these around. I'll talk about a crowded market, but this is the one I ended up buying. It's right here. It's uh, by Love and Life. And, well, it's marked on Amazon as number one new release. So I, I look at, I don't know, probably a dozen or so of these little Bluetooth dongles. And generally speaking, they were like being banged on terribly in the reviews. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, or it doesn't work. Uh, I just ended up just buying this one simply because, well, you know, it says, ooh, number one new release. I mean, there's only one review, and it's like uh, right there. <laughs> Great. Okay, well, thanks for the help, but still. <laughs> uh, uh, there was a question there that was like, that kind of says, okay, first install mini CD for a Bluetooth icon to appear in the tier two bar. And I think that was this little question and answer that finally decided me to go ahead and give this a try. Uh, and plus, it was only seven bucks. I mean, this is the first time I ever used a Bluetooth dongle. I've used Wi Fi dongles, but not Bluetooth dongles. So, but I spent a lot more time getting this thing to work than I should have. And that's because even though that little question and answer was, uh, was helpful in me deciding to buy this, by the time I got it and started trying to get it to work, I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it says plug and play, but no, not really. Not in the true sense of plug and play. It says, don't forget about the CD. Cause I'm, oh no, I don't know how long I spent trying to get that silly thing to work. I plugged it in. Uh, my uh, my laptop, which is this is going to, has old wonky Dell drivers that I can't update. So, I, you know, I was disabling that, making sure that was disabled, just couldn't get it to work, couldn't get it to work. Oh, man. Finally, I was like, all right, all right, you know, it's broke. I was putting it back in, and there it was. I was like, oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, the CD. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like an idiot. So I just stuck it in and installed it, and it was kind of a lengthy install, maybe like five minutes. But once it was all set up, uh, there's the icon right there. I have it showing. You can customize it. I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate, but you can customize it and have it show up, which I did through here. So now it's showing up. And once that's all, that was all said and done, yeah, there it is. Add Bluetooth device, and then it gives you options of which one type of you want to add and what have you. And uh, there you go. And yes, so now everything's working. The, the CD was the missing key element, and here's my setup. Uh, I've got a new setup here on my workstation, going the Bluetooth keyboard, and there it is right there. There is it's actually plugged into a fancy looking hub, but that's what it is. It's actually a USB 2.0 hub that it's plugged in, and then this in turn is actually plugged into that thing right there. You had another hub that's actually a USB. 3.0 hub with a 50 foot cord running all the way to my laptop on the other side of the house because this is actually a remote viewing station for a Windows tablet, Android's tablet, uh, my laptop and uh, well, one thing is that Bluetooth was just simply not reaching all the way to my laptop of course to the other side of my house so in order to use a Bluetooth device from over here Ah well, that's what I. Uh, that's how I solved that problem was through that, and works great. And the other thing is, like I mentioned, the drivers on my laptop were were these old Dell ones. I just couldn't update or get rid of. So I was kind of stuck with that. That really has done the trick. And there was no conflicts uh, when I installed it, even with initially without when I forgot about the disk. I automatically disabled those other drivers. It just turned them off automatically. It's just you have to install the disk in order to get that little icon to pop up. That's the critical aspect because it was stalling. It was saying it was working. I just couldn't add any devices. But once I installed the disk, that popped up to let me, you know, add devices. And from there, it was just standard Bluetooth pairing, no problems. So we're all finally good to go and uh, so yes I am adding my review to this particular dongle it works and oh seven bucks 
pretty cheap because there's a whole bunch of them there's like really really cheap ones and there's some really outrageously expensive ones this is on the cheap end seven bucks and as long as you don't forget about the cd driver <laughs> yeah, it should be good to go so absolute recommendation all right you guys have yourself a great one